So this question is for Math 141, and it's a homework problem request. So it's 1.5a, and the question is on 5d. So if we have something symmetric about a line, in this case it's a vertical line at x equals negative 3. So we have the point 1, 2 is on a graph. And um, what other points must be on the graph given that the function is, so in this case we're saying it's going to be symmetric about x equals negative 3. I don't know what the other points are. It doesn't matter. I'm just showing on the graph that point. Math, you can figure it out like algebraically or just kind of visualize it on the graph and sketch it out. So I think the concept is easier to show while graphing. So if I have this line x equals negative 3, so 1, 2, 3, so I would just sketch in a line there. So anytime you have x equals to a number, you have a vertical line there. So instead of being symmetric about the y-axis, I think you'd probably be fine with that. You get that. But if it's a line, you have to kind of sketch in that line or know how many units away from that line is because you have to have equidistant over here. So I could just subtract, you know, and figure it out or I could, you know, actually write it out. I would have one, two, three, um, four jumps there, right, from um, the positive one to get to negative three. So I have to also reflect on that. So I'm gonna use um, orange there. So I would have have to have this point be four. So it'd still say it y is um, two, but it would have to be four over this way. One, two, three, four. So that would give us a negative seven over there for our x value. So I would have to put a point at negative 7, 2. If that's also, um, that if it's reflecting or symmetric about x equals negative 3, that point would also have to be on the graph. Okay, but you could just kind of subtract it here. You know you have an x value of 1. And the distance from that to this negative 3 would be 4 units, right? I'd have 1 minus minus 3. The difference between those are 4 units, right? And then I would have to then take that negative 3 and go have a difference over to um, 4 units which would be give, bring me to negative 7, okay? Um, so that is 5D, and then 6C is another one. So we're given the graph this time, and we want to know how it compares. So the graph below shows the part y equals e of t that lies in quadrant 2. Copy down the part shown three times and complete each graph given that the graph is even, odd, or symmetric about t equals negative 4. Okay, so we're going to... I'm just going to use this graph here because I... You know, that's the only one I'm doing. For you guys, I wanted you to copy them over. So I'm just going to kind of extend on this. So the same kind of thing. If I have T, which is my horizontal um, axis. So this was, let's just label these up here. This is Z of T here. This, I'm going to darken it up. And then the T. So if I have my line of reflection there, or some symmetry, is negative 4. Okay, so this is t equals negative 4. So sketch that in. Then I can extrapolate out here and figure out the points. Let's just kind of make, extend our axis and make a mirror image there. 
okay I could copy this over on graph paper like you may have done but I think you'll get the idea as long as you can see where that symmetry line is so I'm going to put that in orange so for here that's just zero zero um, this bump I could look at I have two units away two units away so I'm spacing my distance is from t equals negative four not an axis but it's the same process so the same thing here I would just mirror image so I'm going to put my orange dot this one and it goes about there this dip down here at um, t equals negative one would is three spaces away so I have to be three spaces away from t equals negative four so one two three so right about there and then I have the zero is four spaces away okay so then I have my general shape and I go ahead and write that in okay so um, remember that these are vertical lines when it's the X component or the input equal to something if it's an output equal to something it's a horizontal line so I hope that helps and let me know if you need more details or have any questions about that